Today's episode will be a how-to video on Bali, otherwise known as Sayori here in the islands. A really, really good bait, especially for big game trolling, if used properly. So if you could take care of the bait, to make sure the bait is in really good shape, try to keep all the scales intact, uh, and uh, you add your salt just to keep them preserved. Uh, they should last you pretty much all day trolling, uh, big game trolling. I'll, I'll make a little segment on value trolling and uh, how to rig it up. So stay tuned, enjoy the show. The first and most important part about catching value is attracting them. Start by throwing small pieces of bread thus creating a chum line. Repeat as needed. 20 minutes later, the valley hole started showing up. So we casted out our lines. Game on! There we go, baby. There we go. It's a marlin, it's a marlin. A big marlin. <laughs> Fun part of catching a bee. Dali will fish it. Nice one. Good job. Anapa, got one? Oh yeah. Got him, got him. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Get it, boy. Good job. Nice one. Nice one. Oh. I got another one. Oh, 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 yeah. Real tiny. There you go. See? Just as much as fun catching a bait as you are catching a marlin. Look at that. See? You got one? Ew, it just took you on me. <laughs> Ew. Perfect. <laughs> See? He got one. And I got one. Got it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Nice. Open it up. Show me yours. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Marlin bait, baby. The bait's still good, look. Go back out. Don't forget to put a little bit of bait. We call it palu. Follow a little bit of bread, make it in tiny little chunks like this in between sets. Keep them here. There you go. Every now and then. Ballyhoos are fun to catch. They're also great fried. They're also known for having cigarette toxins. So please consume at your own risk. Nice one, huh? <laughs> it shot you, huh? Oh, go get another hook. It was bleeding. One is catching the tuna. For a big, big billfish. Woo! Yeah. Here we go. 
go guys patience pays off huh Back up, back up. <laughs> <laughs> got him! Got him! Hey, got another one, and there's no sun. Yeah, yeah, sayori. yeah. Sayori, yeah. Ballyhoo, sayori. sayori, yeah. No! <laughs> huh? I thought that was aha. No, no, no. Yeah, there is aha of here too, but. Yeah, this, uh, we, I go for the ballyhoo. I see the aha. I was playing with the aha earlier because I was just bored. What and then they show up. The um, the nose. So if you still look at them. Okay, yeah, the aha get teak, yeah? Oh, see no more. No more. Sayori no more. No more. Yeah, so. Yeah. See it? No teeth. No teeth. And then the nose is orange. Nose is and orange. And the mouth is on the top, you see it? Not in the middle or the Yeah, on the very ah. top, so surface feeder. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is Sayori. This is this is actually a very, very good day. Yeah. <laughs> so if you used to Google what this thing do or go to YouTube. Yeah. Good job, Bryson. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Conk you in a head. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Came off, brother. Throw it in a bucket. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oop. Oop. Here, look, look, look. If you look straight down over here, you'd see them. Look. See them all? They come in and they go back out. Oh, okay. Watch. Yeah, you can see the trail. Yeah, you'd see these see guys them. come. They'd come over here and eat the bread. So the, the, the thing about it is, although I'm feeding them bread, I'm using shrimp. Shrimp stays on a little longer. But once uh, you get I use the shrimp. Head, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so you watch them to eat the bread, you see them? So as they come through, then on, but on my, on my hook, on my hook, they'll look him, he just ate it, look, watch. See it? Yeah, so on my hook, pretty cool, huh? On my hook, there's, there's shrimp. You see that, the little pieces of shrimp that I cut up? Yeah, shrimp stays on a lot longer than bread. Absolutely. Very good eating, very good eating. But um, for me, I trade it in for tuna and marlin. So when I get the boat, can trade them in for tuna. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 home. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you help? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is crazy. Pretty cool, huh? Man, that's, that's like a good amount of meat for a. Yeah, for a little amount. Know, yeah. Just pan fry it. Deep fry it. Yeah, you can do whatever's, man. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, they're always here. Just a couple and go home. Eat the water. Yeah. Hey, what's up, boy? But I thought it was you from there, man. Good to see you, buddy. That's what I thought. Like. What's up, my man? I didn't know. Good, Good to tell. see you. Good, Good to see, see you. Game. Yeah, just catching another bait. Another day on the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, watching your video. It's 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 gonna be another video, and you're gonna be in it. What? Say hi. Is it recording? <laughs> oh, what's up, man? <laughs> Videoing that, especially that that on a shootout, right? Was it at the shootout? The bait's right here, buddy. You be right. <laughs> yeah, that was just... And he did. <laughs> he did. He came on fish. <laughs> you made him here. Watch him catch without the bait. Without the... <laughs> Oh, that was so classic. That was unreal. I don't know. It came off a deep. Oh, it's still on? <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> oh, my God. That wasn't good on Bryson. You know what? Take off something and... Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh man, baitless. That was baitless. Good job. This is basically what I do. I take this thing, I'm pretty much getting it prepped uh, for me to freeze it, getting ready for bait. Um, what I do is I break the bill. So a lot of people would actually take take a scissors and snip it off right about here, right? So what I do is, uh, I kind of saw this on YouTube. Someone actually did it, so uh, props to, uh, one of the guys that I watched this on YouTube with, all you gotta do is basically just take this and break right at this point. The thing about breaking them is, if you used to look at it and you used to break it, and you pull it, it's gonna be like the little part of the skin that kind of pulls out, see it? So I pulled out that little piece of skin, I don't know if you can see, so. Anyways, pulling them out, it leaves a tiny little cavity right about there if you can see it see right about there so later on down the line I'll actually show you that tiny little cavity holds the 200 or you know 100 or 200 pound test line that you use um, the monofilament will basically be coming up from under the gill and right into that little cavity so you might want to do that instead of just cutting it off it makes a nice slit area right about here just so you guys could um, slide your fishing line into them and it actually works out okay so basically break off the bill put it off to the side do the same thing again okay let's try that one more time there we go let's break off the bill break it off and you pull straight down and it'll come off Okay, there we go, nice and clean. It's a pretty clean break. It comes off fairly easy. Okay, just like that, break the bill and pull that skin piece down, okay? So you do that with all of them. So, I use Hawaiian salt, a little bit of Hawaiian salt, just to keep these guys nice and firm. Okay, a little bit of Hawaiian salt. And what I do is I just put a little bit of Hawaiian salt in it. Be generous with it. <clears throat> so you take this and uh, you take the, you basically you just take the sayori and you roll it all up in this Hawaiian salt. Just press it up in there, get it all over it. So what the Hawaiian salt, salt does is uh, it keeps it preserved, it keeps the nice, the meat nice and firm, uh, nice and firm and uh, it, it doesn't wash out, I'm telling you this bait is really good bait, um, especially for trolling, it doesn't wash out, you could use it all day and it'll last all day. So I just put it in a Ziploc, pretty much right into the ziplock tuck it away just like that let me go ahead and do them all as much as possible you want to keep these guys nice and straight try not to um, let the scales come off or um, when you mishandle these things the scales fall apart really easily so but because we kept them in good shape uh, pretty much all the scales are on but just try not to but there you have it catching ballyhoo and that's how we put it away right on well gang that's all we got for today once again thank you for joining us in another pokemon fishing adventures if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to click the like button. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. Hello, everyone.